Washington and Tony Goldwyn tried to cool off their sizzling affair, but it looks like they just can't stay away from each other. Take a look. I asked Nellie for a divorce. Listen to me. Whatever's wrong, we'll fix it. Don't say you're marrying Edison. Not yet, just wait, okay? Whatever's wrong, we'll fix it. Just say you'll wait for me. Live. Say you'll wait for me. Should you be having that conversation on a landline? I know, really. <laughs> that goes cell phone. Can I ask her, are those Michelle Obama's bangs? <laughs> well, chicken or the eggs? They're not cute. Well, I, you know, I would, I would never take credit for any. Uh, I, I mean, I think bangs are in. I'll just say that. Yes. Bangs are in, and stylish ladies are gravitating toward them. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here amongst yeah. family because Shonda Rhimes created mm -hmm. your show and your it's show. Shonda Land Takeover. That's right. Yeah, that's Shonda! Yeah. It's a huge fan. It is. It's so great. And we were just on your set because we had the added scene that we had to shoot. And I was so just in love with that environment. The people that you guys work with, the environment that you establish as actors, it's just phenomenal. And it shows on the show. You can see it. It clicks. It's chemistry. It's beautiful. And we're all attached to Whoopi at the hip a little bit because we've all worked with her, which yeah. I think is just yeah. crazy. Kind of crazy, yeah, isn't we're it? Gonna take I just said to Whoopi, day. everyone that comes on this show has worked with her. She yes. has been with a lot of people. <laughs> However you like. She she well, she stuff. was. She's, she really hot stuff now. It's hot up here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go down some memory lanes in a few minutes, but I want to talk about that now because, first of all, everyone loves Scandal. Yes. Second, <laughs> and, and talk about chemistry. Your two characters, I mean, you're, you, you know, the, the political fixer in you mm -hmm. and the president in you. I don't know how you're going to fix the mess if they end up getting back together. Well, how are you going to make that smooth, nice and smooth in. in Washington, ma'am. Well, luckily, we don't we have don't to have, write it. We don't have to <laughs> yeah, we yeah. just kind of show up, and we have no idea what's going to happen in the season. As you know, in Shondaland, you do not get an idea of what's going to happen. You and know you're going to get together. We have no idea. We just go week to week. It's part of why we love live tweeting with our fans when people yeah. watch the show, because you guys are yes. so shocked and like outraged, and you love it, and you hate it, and, you're, and we feel all those same feelings yeah. when we're reading it. So we really know what, we never know what's coming week to week. You you know, it's so great. funny because Scandal is such a guilty addiction of a lot of Don't people. Don't be guilty. Girl, well, I, you know, first of all, you know, it's good. It's good for you. My husband and I, we love the scenes. We sit there and we, we don't miss an episode. But, Tony, do you model, because you played the president, mm -hmm. do you model any anything after any of our presidents, any of your character? <laughs> Uh, not, not specifically. There were, Come on, I, nobody, I watched a lot of Clinton Listen, and a lot of wife. Obama. No. <laughs> he said Clinton and Obama. Clinton and Obama have studied them because for having nothing to do with what Georgia said, no. Um, uh, because they're both amazing speakers, like rock star speakers. Okay. And um, both of them, and I thought especially Clinton had this ability to be talking to 10,000 people right. and make each right. person feel like he's talking directly right. to you. Yes. And, he, and, and, and both of those men have such big, a big heartedness to mm -hmm. them, yeah. and I wanted Fitz to have that quality. What about so that, I, maybe You know, people compared it a lot to him, but I didn't end up... You know, that's such a, another yeah, era another in a funny era. way, yeah. and, and um, he's so iconic that, that I didn't go back there. Yeah. Carrie, so. I have to tell you, there, there's a young man, and I can't think of his real name, who I love, but he's the one that discovers that he actually didn't shoot the president, and there's a whole... What is his name? The actor that plays... Guillermo Diaz. Huh? Guillermo Diaz. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yes. Guillermo Diaz. Yeah. He's yes. brilliant. Isn't he brilliant? Yeah. Everyone yeah. called me. He's really so great. Yeah. And 
you know, this is one of the things that, that I love about working on the show. It's like being in an amazing theater company. Mm -hmm. we, we really root for each other. We come in on days that we're not working to watch each right. other do scene work. We rehearse at lunch breaks. We're always emailing and calling yeah, each other. Do you rehearse anyway? Anyway? Yeah, no, I will say, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do. We get together, together on the weekends. Like, we don't see each other enough <laughs> all week long. We get together do and watch really? episodes it's together. A it's a family. I'm sure you guys do the same thing. But for we all. Yeah. We all that. were so heartbroken, and, and those that episode when Guillermo and Hawk's character, you know, is being abused, yeah. and he's he's yes. such a brilliant he's actor. Yeah. I just loved him. Sorry, Cher. Uh, you know, I, I just want to change it up a little bit because you uh, were in a, a, a film that I love, uh, Django Unchained, yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> Tarantino's film, it's it's Oscar nominated, and you were with Jamie Foxx, mm -hmm. with Christoph, Christoph Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, and you said you were playing the role of uh, Broomhilda, who was Jamie Foxx's character, his wife. Now you said when you did the film that it changed you. Yeah. How, how did that film change you? Um, yeah, you know. It, Waking up every day for nine months, which is how long it took us to shoot the film, and having to put myself in the mindset of a woman who at the time was considered by our own constitution to be three-fifths of a person, to be a fraction of a human being, somebody who had to live in such a state of violence and brutality. Um, it really transformed me because I had more gratitude than I've ever had before for my ancestors who survived those conditions or who died in those conditions. Um, you know, it's funny, there were some days that were so tough that Jamie Foxx would actually lean over to me and say, how are you doing, Olivia? He would That's call cool. me my name from Scandal, mm -hmm. almost as a reminder to say, it's safe for you to go to this place of such pain because you also have the privilege of playing a woman at the opposite end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, in some ways, Olivia right. Pope is the answer to Brumhilda's prayers of what oh. might be possible. Yes. You know, yeah. absolutely. become the heroine of all generations that's what I like you do that you bounce between those two worlds so beautifully but you know what I love is that both of these women and all of our characters on the show that's the thing that really has drawn such great actors to this show is that none of these characters are perfect mm -hmm. We're, and none of us are actors who are drawn to kind of playing perfect people people are complicated people are messy and our characters on the show you know you never know who to trust who to believe yeah, right, you never right, know who's good right. who's bad and that's real you yes, know that's yeah. real life that's the fun stuff for us as actors. I want to talk about some fun stuff. And I said uh -oh. we were going down memory lane. 1990, was it, Ghost? What was the year of that? <laughs> you and Tony working together. I'm going to take a look. Take the trip with me. All right, check. Just give me the check. Oh, no. Out of this, Molly. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I gave it away. You're lying to me. Don't lie to me. The check. How is it that you're so wonderful at playing a bad guy and yet you just make us love you? How do you do yes. that? How do you well, craft thanks, that Jay. in your I, characters? I, I, I don't have a good answer for that. I think um, just, just by so trying to make awesome. it, you know, make him hum, human. I mean, I, actually, when I got cast in Ghost, Yes. Uh, Jerry didn't want to hire me because he said I was too sympathetic. Me either. And I'd never played a bad character. I mean, I was brand new. But yeah, yeah you saying no, he, didn't yeah. want, he didn't want to hire me. He said people would be taken out of the film as soon as they saw me. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, well. It was crazy. Wow. He said they would want me to go to life in prison but not get killed. Well, if ah, I played him like a nice guy. You proved him wrong. You proved him wrong. You know, we want to thank you both. You're so yes. talented. We oh, love you, Carrie.